Hi, uh, good afternoon. Welcome to Drafting and Design Center. Drafting and Design Center is a hybrid consulting and training organization provides training and consulting in civil engineering and structural engineering field. To know more about the services, please visit www.draftinganddesigncenter.com. In this short tutorial, I will just explain how we can assign design criteria, how we can add station and uh, basically uh, minor stuff uh, which is very crucial and should be followed at early design stage when modeling roads and uh, profile so and further we also gonna see how we have created grading in my earlier video and what is the effect of grading we have achieved we have achieved with tools we have used for grading so if you can see the surface here if I select the surface and go to the property add install and apply the slope arrows you can able to see that drainage pattern here which is highly distributed and water is everywhere as you can see here very distorted drainage pattern uh, which is not gathering water on a street even uh, just water is everywhere we then put in road which is I call the first street and the second trait and I grade entire surface mainly for grading I use grading tool and then once we get it we use significant we use add line delete line swap edges add point delete point and modify point all these six surface property as well as add break line which is here and then paste the surface all this element we have used extensively to be able to create a grading and the final graded surface which I can show you how that looks like so if I just go in the home and de-highlight this one go to layer Go to C and I'm finding the layer for the topo graphic surface which is in this category topo design surface. I'm just struggling to find the surface which I created. Yep, C topo final. That looks okay. So when yes, when I turn on here, now if you can see the drainage pattern in here. I combine all feature lines so you can see that half of my all lots dropping towards towards the top of the cup entire this is dropping in a one direction of this road surface same side you have a similar flows pattern in here in here as well and then here as well and then both way in here as well as all Lots half of the lots drop towards the street, half the lots drop away from the street. From this, I can plan some sort of small channel along the periphery which can get the water around here and gets somewhere else here. From the culvert, I can put and need the road, gets in the pond, 
and entire drainage here I can plan using cup now uh, using cutter system accumulate the flow drain down this first street from top of the first street drain drowns here and I'm plan to create some detention in here so first step was just to put a road surface model the intersection corridor road corridor create a gridding in such a way that intercepts maximum amount of flow and as you can see that nice gridding is created if I select the surface this is how it looks like you can see that this lot is flowing towards the street similarly half of the lots uh, drops towards the street water drops towards the street and then traced grid is away from that and you have to follow RFL criteria drainage design criteria as well as construction issue by creating this layer all quantity of cut and feel and art which we not going too much into detail but it's just showing you what the grading is all about and how that makes significant difference in 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 management of storm water so once this completed as you can see that my change is sometimes gone away there is no changes here so I will definitely click on this element right click and I will go to the edit level style pardon me uh, I'll just select the alignment right click and I will go alarm and property and I will then go to the I uh, should be sorry my apology I will go to alarm and style alarm and label and then major station I will select perpendicular with tick add and apply from start station to end station apply and ok as you can see that all stations are highlighted with a perpendicular tick in here as you can see that that gives you 0 meter 200 0 kilometer 200 meter I would like to see only 200 you can able to change uh, the stationing by using clicking the object edit group and then going into the this one clicking here again level style and it will it will prompt you in this window as you can see here is you can go to the layout stage be able to change that I will apply standard and see how it works standard won't give you the tick so I will just go back here and uh, go to the parallel with the tick apply okay apply okay so once you select this text as you can see here once you select this you can see edit label text and then they will give this format initially the format was so the format was as you can see here
let me go back and change the station first edit group I will go to perpendicular line we take OK apply so as you can see that this station I would like to change so I will go to edit uh, so once you click here Okay, to be able to change this group, which is here, I will go to settings, go to station, and then the group we have assigned is standard, perpendicular with the tick. This is the group here, add it. station value and then I will select decimal and then one precision I'll select this delete apply new style okay apply okay I will add it this one as well This already been done, so that's okay. So if I go here, click the alignment here, right click, edit levels. I think I have changed that, but is not somehow reflecting. So Yep, so station format will be decibel and precision will be one. Station format is decibel. Okay, so now you can see that it has changed. Apply and okay. Okay, apply and okay. So now you can see that the station value has been changed. Similarly, I will apply changes in here. I will select the alignment. Right click, edit labels. Add. OK. And I will make sure that this has a decibel and precision 1. As you can see here is this is what I want and the format is also decibel is already been assigned so I know how to change you can see this 0 10 rather than 0 plus something format which we had seen earlier so I'm happy with this so I will apply that so now that has been done so now as code already surface created and combined final surface is created station elevation has been assigned uh, before starting this I should be doing is assigning a design speed and and checking that within the criteria but because I need not have Austin Ostrod's uh, design criteria install uh, what I have not done is not check design criteria but we can easily check that by clicking alignment which is here right click property 
and then you have information control masking point of intersection constraining design criteria is I will say user based criteria I will go back to this one you can see that this folder is located in a C your program data or less CL3 2015 which version you have ENU data corridor standard and matrix when you click matrix this is a roadway design standard uh, which I'm using the latest I have is 11 one I open it and because is uh, it is a uh, I'm applying well it should be based on your county region but currently I'm using ASTO four percentage and uh, crown all our crown mountain road apply and okay I'm pretty sure that all radius are more than required for 40 km speed you will check the geometry and give you a error message or warning if any specification uh, or design character has been violated so as you can see here is there is no warning uh, mentioned so I'm happy with that uh, this should be done earlier design stage only warning message is where there is a tangency issue which I'm kind of happy with that. anyway I will also assign design criteria for this street and this step should be performed at early early proposed stage rather than at, at the end right click it property alignment property and then 40k design speed design criteria is already there apply and okay and then because I have already checked everything should be okay we all radius are generous and I'm happy with that already I'm just checking it if it is mismatch okay now I will do similar thing for profile click the profile property design criteria criteria based design also this one k value apply okay there should be some warning I believe yep one warning is here which is k value minimum k value for passing size distance which we have used 5 requires 23 I'm not bothering about passing size distance which is I'm okay with this is k value is 1 uh, for headlight side distance is 9 I can put a warning sign and lighting to minimize that or you can change the k value if you require to do at this stage I am not changing it to change the value you can simply press profile geometry editor edit the geometry and you can see here is this is a tangency violated and you can click here and go to that point so yeah you can change the criteria from from you can change the geometric criteria from here profile view grid view and change the criteria from there similarly here is a warning and you can hover over the cursor over there and you'll be able to see the warning again same passing line distance I'm not worried about right now again I will seek to second street profile right click property right here yeah. this apply and okay I think this looks okay uh, there is warning here must be for passing and stopping set distance as well which is critical and then I had to increase the k value a little bit which I will do later on by myself 
except everything else looks okay so entire design i am happy with uh, mainly i have to change only one k value based on my cow so in this video we have seen how we can change the, uh, we we create grading what is the significance of grading which tool we had used in our earlier videos for grading and once grading has been done uh, if station mark how we can change station how we can check design criteria for respective region and how we can modify the criteria if you have any comment please write us at referring our website uh, our website is www.draftingdesigncenter.com it was a very short time and guys thanks very much for watching and i will catch you around thank you very much bye now Thank you.